Good afternoon. And thank you, first of all, for the opportunity to address you via this video message. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be there with you in Valletta today, in person, to mark this important occasion, the inauguration of the Maltese passenger name record system. It is indeed an important moment. The processing of passenger name record data is an essential instrument to strengthen the EU's common response to terrorism and serious and organised crime. PNR data is a key part of the overall information picture which our law enforcement services need to have in, in order to successfully fight the threats we face. And it can provide real-time updates on criminals and terrorists and how they travel, information the authorities would otherwise not have available. That's because there's no other tool which enables law enforcement authorities to identify unknown suspects in the same way as the analysis of PNR data. Tracing suspicious travel patterns helps us to prevent and detect serious crimes, including terrorism. I'm very pleased that this tool has turned into a central pillar of our EU response to terrorists, to terrorist uh, attacks, terrorist threats and serious and organised crime. Uh, the adoption of the PNR Directive in 2016 was the expression of our joint commitment to put in place an effective system for the collection, analysis and exchange of PNR data uh, across the EU with all of the safeguards afforded by our fundamental rights framework. The directive enables national authorities to gain direct access to crucial information held by airlines in full respect of data protection rights. It provides all member states with an important tool for preventing, detecting and investigating terrorism and serious crimes, including drugs, human trafficking, child sexual exploitation. I very much welcome today's achievement by Malta. We've been working hard with the Member States to ensure this critical piece of legislation is fully implemented, especially given uh, the deadline for notifying the Commission of implementation was, um, was earlier this year. And yet, as of today, eight Member States still have yet to do all that's necessary to notify full implementation. We hope that uh, they're all on track to do so soon. In the absence of full EU-wide implementation, we do still have some concerns, as that has a negative impact on the effectiveness of the system as a whole, uh, not just in those countries that have not yet implemented it. And that's why the Commission is going to continue to use all our powers to help those member states who still have a little bit further to go and to ensure the full implementation of the PR, PNR directive by all our member states, if necessary, including by launching infringement proceedings. We recognise that implementing the PNR directive isn't easy. It's not an easy task. It's one that requires legislative work, uh, significant investment of time and resources. That's why over the past few years the Commission has made every effort to help Member States develop their national PNR systems. We've actively assisted the Member States with expertise as well as by facilitating the exchange of best practices and by providing funding. We are, as I say, making progress. Uh, as we can see today uh, in what's been achieved here in Malta, but there's still work to be done. PNR will remain high up on the EU's agenda for the foreseeable future, as member states face new operational and technical challenges in the application of the directive. So I congratulate you, I congratulate Malta on putting in place their PNR system as we continue our joint efforts across the Union to ensure full implementation of the EU. PNR architecture, which is going to work to keep us all safe. Thank you. Thank you very much.